Hey, what's up guys, it's Dr. Sammy, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing the most common reasons why your patients are experiencing post-operative sensitivity. So one of the most common problems with new graduates out of dental school is that they're doing procedures and that their patients are experiencing post-operative sensitivity. That means that after the filling is done, for a couple days out or a week out or months out or even a year out, the patient is still having pain on a tooth when a small filling was done that isn't even close to the nerve. And today I wanna to share my advice on how to avoid this post-operative sensitivity because it can be super annoying for the patients as well as for you, the doctor. The first reason is not using enough irrigation when you're drilling out a cavity with the high-speed burst. So as you guys know, when you're using a high-speed handpiece and you have a drill in there and you're removing a cavity, this can generate a lot of heat. And that's why water comes out of our handpieces to cool down the tooth so that the tooth doesn't overheat and eventually become necrotic or die on us. So when you're working at whatever office you're at, you gotta make sure that you have a copious amount of irrigation coming out of your handpiece. And there are adjustments that you can do to make sure that enough water is coming out while you're drilling into the tooth. So if you don't know where those adjustments are, talk to the office manager or talk to the owner dentist to find out where those adjustments are so that you can have enough water when you work. And I should also mention on this point that when you switch to a slow speed handpiece and you're running the slow speed with a round burr because you wanna remove that last bit of decay that's close to the pulp, make sure that your assistant is applying a lot of air onto the tooth to cool it down while you do this because the slow speed does not have water coming out of it. So make sure that you tell your assistant to blow air on the tooth to cool it down. The next major thing involves phosphoric acid etching. Etching can be a really caustic agent to the tooth. And if you over etch the tooth, or if you etch certain parts of the teeth, like the dentin for too long, then that can cause post-operative sensitivity. So you gotta make sure that when you're applying your etchant, don't leave it for too long. And when the time comes, make sure you irrigate it all out really well. Now there are a variety of techniques out there for when you're doing your filling. Sometimes you don't even have to use a phosphoric acid etchant. I actually don't use a phosphoric acid etchant, but if you are using it, you have to be aware of how caustic it can be. So you can do a selective etching technique where you're just etching the enamel, the cavo surface margins of the tooth. Um, or if you do decide to etch the dentin, just make sure you don't etch it for too long. You gotta make sure you're reading the manufacturer's instructions on the bonding agent that you're using so that you don't cause this type of pain. And I'll talk about my bonding technique where I rarely experience any post-operative sensitivity towards the very end of this video. So that's coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. On this topic, I should also mention that if you irrigate it out well, then you have to dry out the surface that you don't want to over desiccate the tooth because that can cause some problems as well. So the next major thing is gonna be marginal adaptation. So make sure that when you are applying that Toffelmeyer over the tooth or you're applying a sectional matrix or whatever device that you're using, that you have it adapted well. If you have any voids in the cavo surface margin where the natural tooth meets the filling, that can be an area that water or air can seep in and cause a lot of pain and sensitivity. So make sure that you're doing everything you can to have flush margins and a really nice filling. Now, I've already made videos in the past that talk about my technique for doing fillings and I'll link it in this video as well. Another major cause of post-operative sensitivity is gonna be the layering that you do. Um, now, there are a variety of different composite resins out there and some are bulk fill. And if you have a strong enough light, you can cure through multiple layers. But technically, we have to consider polymerization shrinkage. So we should be incrementally layering our composite resin and curing in one to two millimeter increments so that we don't have shrinkage and the composite resin lasts a long time and we don't have, once again, post-operative sensitivity. And the final reason that I can think of right now is going to be occlusion, a high occlusion. So make sure that when you're done with your appointment that you really check the bite in different ways. You want them to move in lateral obtrusive movements, protrusive movements, chew as if they're chewing bubble gum. And that's really important because the way that people bite down in the dental office may not be the way they bite down in real life or when they're sleeping. So you want them to go through all of those different movements to see if there's any interferences with the composite resin you just put in. Because if there is an interference and they're grinding and they're clenching their teeth, you have to imagine that you're putting all that force onto that one tooth that you just placed a filling on. It's just traumatizing the tooth. You're banging into it. And obviously if you're gonna put all that force onto one tooth and you don't have an even distribution of forces around the mouth, then that can cause a lot of pain too. I've seen a lot of dentists where people are experiencing pain to go straight to root canal. That is way too aggressive, okay? So we really have to do our due diligence in checking 
the bite, the occlusion, and checking a variety of other things before we jump into major restorative work like a root canal. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm missing with post-operative sensitivity. Let me think really quick. Um, when you're drying out your bonding agent to thin it out, make sure you dry it on your glove or on a paper towel to make sure that any moisture is removed. Because if there's any moisture in there and you apply it to your bonding agent, it's a recipe for disaster. You don't have strong bonding, you can get sensitivity, and it is actually a very common problem to have. Now there is a solution that we have at our office where we have an air only syringe tip. So air is the only thing that goes through it. So it's always dry. So it's this isolated unit that I take whenever I wanna dry things out without having any water contamination at all. And that was a lifesaver for our practice. So it's something that is really important and I would consider you guys having as well. Okay, well that's it. This is kind of a video for dentists. And if you have any other comments or any other ways that patients can experience post-operative sensitivity with fillings, leave it down in the comment section below so that we can share our knowledge and grow together. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you for the next one. Thank you.